everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Isabel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you enjoy it. Today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup. It's a lot of makeup. It's not for everyone. I personally love makeup. I always have. I love putting a lot of makeup on. So this is really, I don't wake up every morning and put all this makeup on for no reason. It's if I'm going somewhere that I need to have my full face on and anything like that, you know, um, dinners, lunches. But this is my go-to makeup look and I hope I gave you some tips and tricks. I walk you through everything, show you every single thing that I use to brushes, to sponges, things like that. So we will get into the video. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in a second. Hello everyone. We are going to start with my favorite moisturizer. This is the Pacifica Kale Luxe moisturizer now I let that sink in for a minute um, I don't put my primer right on top of that right away I just really want to let it sink into my skin massage it in if you want so to prime I'm gonna use the dr. Brandt pores no more um, I go back and forth with always my tried and true is my Smashbox Professional. Wait, no. Wait, what's it called? <laughs> my Smashbox Pore Minimizing, the purple one, um, is like, I use that all the time. But this one is a lot lighter. Okay, so the fun part is this combo of foundations I swear by it it's so good your skin will look flawless uh, the Too Faced Born This Way Wet n Wild Photo Photo Focus and I have Photo Focus in Desert Beige and Too Faced in Sand and I am self tanned if you can't tell so I just put it directly on my face and then I blend in with my e.l.f. My e.l.f. Ultimate blending brush that has seen its day. And it has like, from me washing it so many times, it has like, hairs falling out. But it's my favorite. Make sure to get your ears. That's a tip from Kylie Jenner. Her makeup artist says to all make, always make sure to get your ears so they're not a different color than your face because they are attached to your face. All right, foundation is on. I'm gonna go in with my favorite tooth. Am I serious? Tart Shape Tape. And my favorite color is the light medium, but I'm literally digging. I just need to get a new one. Like, God forbid I just go to Ulta and buy a new one. Um, but so I brought out light sand, which is way too light. But if I just don't have enough to get me through, I'm going to plop some light sand on there. I only put this under my eyes and on my chin. And then I kind of just blend it all over the place, but... For this part, I just do the upside down triangle. I don't put any in my forehead. It just doesn't look right for me. See, like I'm trying to get out as much as I possibly can. Let's see. I'm using my L'Oreal sponge. I don't always wet this. It's like dirty, but it's fine. I don't always wet it. I kind of like it when it's not wet. And I'm just a lazy bitch. See, that's not covering as much as I want, so I'm just going to do a dab. This is super light, like yellow, but we'll blend and we'll be fine. Yeah, just a dab, Isabel. Okay. Sounds good. 
Okay, so that looks better. I, I look crazy, but it looks better. Um, I'm going to set everything with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I've used this since I can even remember. I don't think I'll ever use anything else. This is the best powder. I recommend it to everyone. If you haven't tried it, try it, try it, try it. <laughs> and this is a broken e.l.f. brush that I like because it's a flat top and I can just pat it in. So I go from the outside in. So that I really set those wrinkle dinkles in there. I set my eyelids with this as well. And I set my entire face with this. Um, sometimes I'll set it with uh, the L'Oreal True Match Powder that matches the color of my skin. I don't know. I think I have W6 or M5 or something. Um, and I'll just keep this under my eyes and then do the rest of my face with the L'Oreal powder. But on a normal, just depends on how I feel. Usually I just set my whole face with this because it's, I get it in the translucent color. Now to bronze. I have fallen in love with the Hoola bronzer by Benefit. This is my first year I've ever tried it. Um... I know that there was like such a, is there anything that's like so hyped up that you're like, I don't want to try it because I want to use something different, you know, like I feel like that was me, but it really has been life changing. It's just like such a good bronzer shade and this brush is the e.l.f. blush brush, but I don't use this shit for blush. I use it for bronzer because it's like has a nice just applies really nice put it all over my nose I don't really contour it I just like having my nose look tan and then my forehead I don't go crazy on my forehead brows I'm gonna use my Anastasia brow Wiz brow definer I'm sorry and I start okay let me see if I can do this I start underneath And I carve out underneath from front all the way to back. Then I start at the tail, like my arch to the tail, and fill that in. And then kind of even this out up here to the arch. Are you seeing? And then I fill in. Then I lift my brows up and I kind of just put this sideways and push up. And that's the outline. And I do the same thing on this brow. So now when I have them filled in and outlined a little bit, this is when I go in with a powder, which is really an eyeshadow from my Morphe 350 palette. I've shown this before in other makeup videos. But it's just this random color, this one right here. This is like such a mess, like just don't. Um, I could just get a brow powder, but this I works just fine for me. So I don't go in my whole brow with this. I need like a smaller little mirror. Um, I just do the tail to really darken it and define it. See that? And there they are. Easy as that. For highlight, I'm using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I can't talk today. I am so sorry. Um, this is a little mini size travel one that they had at the checkout at Ulta, and it's so cute. Um, but I had the full size before, and I went through the whole entire thing. If you can imagine, I mean, like. I've had this for like three, uh, what month are we in? I've had this for two months and it's not even like, you don't use a ton of highlighter. 
So I put this on the apples of my cheeks and I bring it down. Not the apples. Like my cheekbone and I bring it down. Look at that. Hello. This is the best highlighter ever. I put it on the tip of my nose. I just put it everywhere. And then we'll go back to this in a moment. Uh, blush. I've had this for years as well. My The Bomb blush, and I don't even know what the color is. I've had it forever. It's like this really pretty bright pink coral. And I make this awful face. Blush is everything. I could not wear makeup without blush. And I put some on my nose. So this is just the pattern that I do my makeup in. I don't know why it is, but I do my lips before my eyes just because like I can't stand my lips looking like this. Some people do their lips last, but uh this is the Milani um, lip pencil in nude, number three. An oldie but goodie. I never used to line my lips. And lining my lips has been life changing. And if you don't line your lips, you should line your lips. And people used to say that all the time. And I'm like, I can't stand it. Like, it's another step. Like, why? But if you overline your lips a little bit, do you ever notice, like, you'll have, not like a white line, but that line around your lips, right? That's kind of like, and you're like, do I fill that in or do I put lipstick on that? Like, fill that in and it will make your lips look so plump and gorge. And you don't have that, like, weird line around your lips. I don't know if everyone has that, but I know that I had that, like, it like wasn't the color of my skin. It was a little bit lighter. Fill that in with a nice lip pencil. And on your bottom lip, you can even go on your skin and it you'll be like, wait, is this, but if you think about it, it's a shadow. So your lip goes over it. So I'm not, well, I guess I can just show you. I don't do it all the time, but really get down there and it will plump that bottom lip up. See, I'm putting it all the way down there, but when I'm like this, it's just a shadow. Now, sometimes I'll just line my lips and put a chapstick on and like blend everything in, but if I'm like actually going somewhere. Okay, we're back to business. This camera overheats and it's really annoying. Um, so I'm going to mix Stripped with uh, Fawn, Over, Fawn Over Me by Marc Jacobs. These are like my two go-tos besides Child Star by Too Faced. But uh, wait, no, which one do I want first? So I mostly do the um, Fawn Over Me. And these Marc Jacobs lip creams or whatever they are. I think they're just called lip creams. They're so good. They stay on, but they don't dry out your lips. And the Anastasi ones can dry out your lips a little more. So that's how I like to mix. Because I love the color stripped. All right, let me, so now we dab. Dab. So now that our lips are on, we can get into eyes now. And my go-to palettes, my only palettes really, are the Carly Bible palette, which strangely enough, um, I really like it, but I go through the pan so fast, like I'm hitting pan on them. I feel like they are very, they have like a lot of fallout and they're just like, they just, you touch it. Like, look, which one should I touch? You touch it. Do you see that? Wait, did you see it? And it just like goes everywhere. Like, ugh. 
so that's the only thing about this palette I don't like it looks great on your eyes I just don't know why it does that so anyways I'm gonna take this um light orangey kind of color and just put it on my I need the what am I doing I need the mirror and I just like to put this up in my crease um I always go for like the warm tone coppers and oranges i just feel like it really makes my blue eyes pop it's just like my favorite color to go to and as you can see i literally just like slobber that on my lid nothing fancy you just want to blend it and i'll go over that a couple times until it kind of builds up you want to start with not a ton on your brush and kind of build it up if you need to instead of putting too much on and then not being able to get rid of it so just really simple and then i like to take that on my lower lash line as well um no matter where i'm going if i have makeup on i will put eyeshadow on my lower lash line now, in this palette, the colors that I really like to use a lot are these orange shades, also this shade, um, and that shade as well, clearly. Just the basic BIT warm colors. Um, so I do like to pop a little bit of this orange, it's like a burnt orange, in my crease a little bit. eyeshadow on your lower la lash line also like opens up your eyes because I do have smaller eyes I mean they're not teeny tiny but um I just like the way that it opens them up and then usually for my lid I'll either just do like a simple like more brown tone I won't put orange on my lid or I'll just do like a sparkly gold or like a sparkly copper shade from the Carly Bible palette um, but today I think I'm just going to press on some, just some of this simple brown and I just do it with my finger. It's just the easiest way. Nothing crazy. I never, not that I never do crazy eyes, crazy eyes, like fun and exciting eyeshadow. I try to for like special events. I also wanted to ask if you want to see a video on how I do my makeup for special events and I have gotten it down to a T that will it will not budge. I did um, one of my friends, well she's family, um, I did her makeup for a wedding that we had this weekend and she's like my makeup always falls off and I did it for her and it was on until like the next day. So um, I definitely, I mean I definitely wear a lot of makeup but it won't move okay I told you we were gonna come back to the highlight so I always do an inner corner highlight just with my Laura Geller highlighter and I use a little q-tip because I just can't find a brush that I like to do it so I just pop this on my inner corner I kind of bring it in the tear duct a little bit and bring it up see what a difference that makes And then I do like almost like an exclamation point on my nose. I put a teeny dot and then I do right here in the center. See that? And then I put a little bit on my cupid's bow. And let's put some on my chin. Why not? will look all sorts of sweaty but glam so there's all the highlight and let's curl our lashes and put mascara on and we'll be all done and the best mascara ever is the they're real by benefit and I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes. I don't like the way that it looks. 
I will do it for formal things, but not day to day. I don't put it on the bottom. All right, that is the finished look. My go-to everyday makeup, not literally every day, but you know what I mean if I am going somewhere that I need to have my face on. If you have any questions or if you do want to see a video on my more dressed up makeup look, please leave it in the comments and I will totally do that for you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.